I am Batman. I mean, average sniper. Hey, what's up, everybody? We've got a new update for PUBG Xbox today. I believe it was originally supposed to come on the 4th, but it got pushed back to the 5th. So I will put the link in the video description so you can go read about the update yourself if you prefer. Or if you'd like to watch a little gameplay and hear me read off the patch notes, then go ahead and stay tuned. Alright, so the main thing about this update is the new weapon, the Bison, and a new attachment uh, called the Canted Sight. In addition to that, there is a new weather setting on Vikendi, which is the snow map called Moonlight. You will be able to enjoy taking down your enemies in the night as the supermoon and aurora borealis guide you to victory. That's exactly what it says on their website. So kind of interested to see that. Um, they basically said thank you for sticking with us, you know, through all the problems and all that and blah, 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 blah. Let's get into some of the patch notes. All right. So the new weapon is revised. It is an SMG that takes 9mm ammunition and holds 53 rounds by default. What a beast. Is this going to take over the UMP? I don't know. Uh, the only attachments it can take are muzzle and sight detachments. It does not take grips or magazines. So 53 is the most bullets you can get into it. Uh, there is a canted sight as a new attachment. Canted sight is a new scope for weapons with a secondary scope slot. Pressing the X button while in ADS toggles between the equipped sights. And the canted sight can be used with um, the barrel, AKM, AUG, M4, Mutant, QBZ, SCAR, G36, SLR, Mini-14, MK-14, QBU, SKS, AWM, M24, CAR-98, UMP, Vector, Bison, S12K Shotgun, and M249. Uh, with the cannon sight update, the weapon's position and field of view angle might feel slightly different than before while aiming down sights. Interactions such as picking up an item, getting into a vehicle, opening a door will now be disabled while in ADS. That sucks. All right, let's get into the gameplay changes. They said they have decreased the damage transferred to helmets and vests. This means your armor can sustain more damage before being destroyed. Damage given to the player will remain the same, so the player will die just as fast, but the vest will be in better shape, which means your vests are going to last longer. The previous damage calculation used to transfer 100% of damage to the armor durability. Uh, used to transfer 100% of damage to the armor durability. Uh, they modified the damage system of throwable weapons. Uh, damage and effects are now applied correctly to players, hiding behind very small obstacles such as thin poles. Trajectory guideline is now shown properly until the throwable weapon leaves the player's hand. They reduce the delay when opening a parachute. That's good. Uh, this will make players able to change directions much earlier. Uh, they've modified the blue zone on Vikendi. The blue zone will be generated further away from the center. Uh, because all you had to do was land in the center of the map and just sit there. So that's good. Uh, the damage of the last zone has been increased. That's also good. All right, uh, item spawns have been modified on Vikendi. Uh, they decreased the number of SMGs and increased the number of assault rifles. Thank God. Uh, they reduced the number of level 3 helmets and vests. That's a good thing, too. Everybody had a level 3 on there. Uh, they fixed an issue where doors could sometimes be opened from an unreachable distance in third-person mode. Doors will now only be opened when in reachable distance. That's good. As for the world, they added a new weather setting on Vikendi. We already talked about that. Uh, and under the UI UX, they improved UI widget visibility, which is located on the bottom center of the game screen. And they added additional game options. They added an option to set the default firing mode for weapons. Really? So you can set it to full auto now? That's amazing. About time. Uh, they added a keybind for the X button while an ADS can incite a new attachment. Uh, they added a keybind to hold the left arrow button while at a default state to inspect your weapon. Pretty cool. A uh, message will pop up when your survival title promotes and improved visibility of the white circle on the minimap. Amazing. Under performance, they've improved performance by adjusting the number of visible footsteps within certain radius of a character. Uh, they also improved performance by increasing the size of the texture streaming pool to cache in memory. And they optimized kill feed messages and gamepad guide UI by lowering the average game thread usage time to reduce hits. Uh, under skin and items, item grades for event items have been adjusted so they have a more appropriate value. Um, item settings have been changed so they can be exchanged for the appropriate amount of BP according to their grade. That's good. Uh, Joker and Harley Quinn skins will be removed from the store on March 6th. Thank God. 
Uh, the store item list will be updated on March 12th. It says every item except crates and the Road Warrior helmet will be removed from the store. Uh, a new crate and new cosmetic items will be available for purchase. More information on this will be provided closer to March 12th. And there are a ton of bug fixes. It would take me forever to read them all off to you. There is like, there is like 40 or 50 of them at least. So make sure you check out the link in the description if you'd like to read all of the bug fixes that are implemented in this patch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you on the Battlegrounds. Have a great day and hit that like button if you enjoyed. Later.